people come to Salt River Fields, even if they're not a fan of the Diamondbacks or Rockies? What's, what's the draw here? You've been here long enough. I actually hear this from the fans themselves because I always make sure to do a couple laps before the game. I, I get to interact with the fans. I get to listen to their conversations. What? And, and so many times I'll just hear people go, oh, my gosh, oh, look at that. And look at, oh, isn't that grass great? And, and look at, you don't have to be a baseball fan. You come out for the t entire experience because every kid in gym class, whatever, whether you wanted to or not, you played kickball, you played baseball. So they know what it's like to be on a field like that. Everybody does. So to see a baseball game this close up and outside with the total 100% sunshine, it's, and obviously the great temperatures, it's more than a baseball game. It's an experience to be at Salt River Fields, for whether you're rooting or not. <laughs> and, and the food options and the entertainment options for the children with the baseball fields and the contest and, uh, and the organ player kicks in a few <laughs> hand clap things for you, like now. <laughs> That is Bobby Freeman, that Packers way. League yeah. Hall of Fame organist. <laughs> <laughs> plays a really big part of the experience here for the fans in the game because we don't have a giant video board and the ribbon boards that we do have on the major league level. So this is a lot different. It's laid back some and then every once in a while, yeah, I want to get the fans going uh, back into the game, support the player on the, on the field. So it's, it's a mixture and it makes it, I mean, great fun. And now we enjoy the sunshine, the breeze, and a little bit of quiet time. <laughs> with the best seat in the house, with usually. The yeah, I, <laughs> I have to say that. I don't want to say that too loud. Somebody will take it. <laughs> Third baseman, number 24, Ryan McMahon. What's it like being introduced every day as a Cactus League Hall of Famer? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't take it seriously, like seriously of myself, but I do respect that title that I believe that if somebody recognizes you like the Cactus League Hall of Fame and thinks that much of maybe what you do in your trade, uh, I'm, I'm proud of that, but I also want to give back to the game and back to the community and respect that title and, and each and every day. And I'm just doing what I love to do, playing the organ, being around my favorite game of baseball. And there's another run. <laughs> there we go. Wow. So now people learn a little trick when a run happens. There's somebody running the audio upstairs on an IR that plays the home run music usually. Yeah, so now they know. the reason for my headset is that I'm communicating with the whole Game Ops crew. So I'm listening to the uh, audio board person that's doing the music. I also hear the video folks and I hear the uh, graphics department and the also the in-game host. So with all of the traffic going on in my ear, that way I know, oh, don't play then, or I need to fill this, or, or play a certain song for a feature, uh, like a contest. And so the communication here is awesome. Everybody can talk to each other, we can hear each other, and that way we keep an entertaining show for our fans. And we also have to be careful not to interfere with the baseball game. When it's time to play, about 10 seconds, let's say for instance on the pitch clock, we have to stop audio, visual, and that way we keep the game moving. So a lot of baseball fans have noticed uh, the average baseball game used to be close to three hours, if not over three hours, and we've about, knocked about 20 minutes off of that time now by uh, keeping the game moving with the pitch clock and keeping the action going, and it's been terrific. It, it's a huge success in uh, spring training, also fall ball, and at the major league level. A great aspect of spring training for me. Uh, oh, listen to the fans. 
is that we not only have fans from all over the United States, but we also have fans from around the world. So it, it just makes it uh, even more exciting to share the game of baseball with folks from everywhere.